We think we hear gunshots. I think you hear gunshots. Okay. Chilling calls to 911 from inside the Covenant School. One teacher huddled in the closet with her students, desperate for help. Can't imagine. Fox 17 News Amanda Chen tonight re interviewing the 911 dispatchers on duty one year later about how the Covenant School shooting continues to affect them. These first responders still say these were some of the worst calls they've ever received, and they'll never forget hearing those terrified voices on the other line. Oh God, what? Reba saw a teacher dead. Reba saw a teacher dead, lots of blood. But I want you to stay right where you're at, okay? It's a response that's been viewed by experts as an example of what to do in an active shooter situation. I remember just thinking it was someone shooting outside based on what she has, was saying. And while I was on the phone with her, I remember seeing someone else's update saying, this is an active shooter. And you just kind of pause and think, is this real? 911 dispatcher Michelle Navel was one of the first ones to get a call. All right, we've got help on the way, um, but are you, are you hearing shots now? The call coming from a Covenant school teacher with children whispering in the background as they were hiding in the art room closet. We think we hear gunshots. I think you hear gunshots, okay. I hear another shot. You did? I'm hearing more shots. Okay. Minutes later, Naval takes another call from a Covenant administrator. I hear them coming, okay. but we okay. are not seeing anyone. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. I, but no, I, no, 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 I got you. Just stay where you are and don't come out of your hiding okay. spot, okay? In the same room, Amber Doss also answered panicked callers. Hmm. Yeah, it was really surreal. Uh, just the feeling of it, knowing that something like this was actually going on. If the police officers do come in, do not approach them. Just wait for their instruction, okay? Okay. But Please hurry. Yes, we do have everybody on the way, okay? Doss says after everything went down, she had to take a break to call her son to tell him she loved him. One year later, she still remembers it all vividly. I still think about it. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be anything that ever goes away. Um, it's going to be something that probably sticks with me for the rest of my life. While Kay Mulligan was coordinating with traffic sergeants. Got a code 9000 receiving multiple calls of shots fired. Uh, last caller believed that the shooter's on the second floor still hearing uh, gunshots. Supervisor Sabrina Jackson was on the floor coordinating with fire, police, hospitals, and metro schools for extra buses. I could hear the shots in the background and I could hear the officers as they were passing patients that were down. And that was the part that got me. And you could hear it in the officers' voices as they were getting to the suspect. Mulliken also remembers the moment an officer told her he was going into the school. Let's go, I need three. He said, I'm on scene, I'm going in, and I could hear the automatic gunfire over his radio. Amongst all the chaos and devastation, these dispatchers are thankful their training helped save lives on that terrible day. We did request to sit down with Metro Police and Nashville Fire personnel who bravely entered the school and saved lives that day. They respectfully declined. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Amanda Chin, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.